Like a eight V, no things. H B, H B, perfect. We have an H B, H B, Faber Castell graphite aquarel pencil. So, if you if you use water on top of it, it, it just. So in my my photo reference, like I can make like these little borders, just for me to have like a. You know some boundaries <laughs> I need some boundaries so now I'm just gonna use like this like one third of the paper for almost like what I feel is the the soil and the mushroom will well it's quite on the center and I kind of don't mind it but I am going to maybe push him a little around here, it's the rule of thirds, it's more interesting to the eye if it's on the quadrants, how do you say that in English? I do not know. If I do the mushroom here, there's a lot of herbs and little leaves and whatnot going on here. This is an awesome photograph by the way, this pixabay has a lot of, there's the yellow flower here, I don't want to just copy, but um, there's this. Well, actually, I don't want that in there. I'm just gonna use uh, a needle the razor. I like these ones, they come in a little box that you can't open. <laughs> well, you can, you can. Maybe you're not supposed to keep them in here, but I do for some reason. Maybe not for long. I don't know. Doesn't matter. So I'm cleaning this up. Okay, so now I'm just gonna have like the, this little trunk here and this could just go in here. So it doesn't like this is too busy already and I am going to like there's a little bush here or something like that. That's going to be really unfocused so it's not really just giving some guidelines, a little roadmap for my... So this will be like background trees and sky. The sky will be making like... This will be fun in pastels. Maybe I'll do this in pastels too. Maybe to compare mediums, that would be fun. So this would be the skyline and I, I want it to be really light and yeah, well, this is pretty much what I think this will be um, foreground uh, background sorry uh, vegetation and then the sky hole here then the mushroom I'm just gonna keep it in here and with a little detail is like this and it's too I don't like it if you don't like it and you're sketching it just erase it even if you're filming because nobody's perfect you know just have to make it smaller i wanted to make it bigger but since it's so bright and red it's going to be it needs to be bigger anyway okay it's going to be like that and there's the little thing here this would be the line of the ground and then it will be like so, because it's very crooked. Actually, something like this. Because there's a 3D form there. Um, okay. I would like to do this in Procreate too. There's a little purple one here. So, in, in my palette, I'm just going to. I just have very little colors. I have like a warm and a cool of um, yellow, uh, red, blue and and green and brown and uh, white and a black and it, it really goes a long way. This this is very very... Um, you can do 
a lot of combinations with this and these are the colors if you want to know what they are. I kept this in here so I, I would know um, you can buy this by uh, how do you call it? stock? oh what? I don't know I don't know but you can buy them like just a pen, just a pen that's missing or something, and so that's good. So I am going to do like um oh there's something really cool since I am using it. This is the the brush that comes with a it's a very cool brush. Oh, actually, it goes here. It's a very cool brush. I've used it once or twice, I think. What am I doing? Oh my god. Very carefully so the this little thing you put it in here, you pick it up and you have more mixing uh, palette. And since these are very um, pigmented, I am just going to dilute them in here. That's a good thing, you can have a little bit more um, possibilities in mixing area, it's good. So I just want to do like a very light, very very light purplish tone for the sky. So light you can't even see. <laughs> so, and I'm just going to go and start on that, because I really want it to be very light and watercolors just see how the the pencil is going away when I when I pass it's it's so perfect not when you want to use like a lot of washes but when it's just marking some parts of it because whenever it's wet you kind of get it, it gets lost so it's not and I'm just gonna be I'm just going to try and be a little free with all these. I actually am going to make a wet on wet thing right here. Just need to be very careful so it doesn't go into the sky because I just did the sky. When you're doing watercolors and mainly if you're doing wet on wet, um, you have to be very careful to don't be to don't work and in the same area you just work like neighbor areas because it's gonna bleed it's gonna bleed and so see all my sketching is going away but I I, I heard someone say it I think it, it was Marla Baguetta uh, well you sketch it once your brain has some information there so if it gets covered it's not a very difficult and sometimes we just sketch to see where things go and since I am not losing my main focal um, point which is the mushroom uh, it's okay whatever happens around it it's not very important it's just to have an idea but I really like to just watch the ink just go crazy and gets mixed with other I'm not even use, trying to use the same colors I mean it's just vegetation and I am trying to keep the, um, the values yes that I am trying to keep white where is light and dark where is dark well, right here there's a lot of kind of these reds and see, I just don't mind. I just let the colors do what they want. <laughs> Probably I won't like it in the end, but we'll see. It's very cool what, what the colors can do by themselves. And some things that can be created that you weren't expecting at all. If you were being very thorough, like... Like... 
See what I was just going to do? I was just going to paint on the sky and yeah, okay. That would be fun too. There is a trunk here, it's much darker actually. But it doesn't matter, this could be just like the first color. Doesn't mean. And I tend to do something, I, I do that for since I was younger and I started to paint. I just <laughs> grab a brush and forget there's a, other brushes out there. It just I just keep going with that brush like I don't have any other brush. <laughs> it's just crazy but that's how I roll and I'll just let it be. This is just on my sketchbook and I'm really just having fun so why? I try to control everything, just, I don't, I'm not trying to control anything here, it's just an experiment, and yeah, I don't do many watercolors, well, I do some, but, <laughs> so. but, um, yeah, I'm starting to, there's a little flower here, and I'm just gonna let it bloom, just fill it up with a, See, I'm picking up um, heavier ink and it's not floating that much because I don't want it to be absolutely lost. And I can go and grab some yellow orange too. Well, this was supposed to be yellow, just yellow, but you know. Uh, it's kind of dirty, yeah. But it doesn't matter because the flower on the photo is kind of orangey anyway so it's not that big but I don't care I don't care I don't care so I'm gonna change my brush to do some details I'm gonna change to this one that says it's a number three whatever that means it's a number three people and I'm gonna leave my other brush for now and I think I need this to try. Just gonna use a little black to, you know, just make this crazy. Let the the ink bleed a lot. I like that. I like it to be free, and I like also when it gets sharp, like dry on um, wet. Uh, wet on dry technique I like that like what I'm doing now but then I like it when it explodes <laughs> and just goes everywhere I like that also so I'm just look at this it's like roots or something they're just going oh and people just sometimes don't like black on their paintings I really do like black as a uh, general rule but I, I really like black when I'm when I'm painting I don't see what's the problem it's just really potent and you have to be careful about it but I don't know I just like it mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna need a little bit of green here because There's a need. <laughs> okay, let's just some greens. We can start to indicate some some of the you know, the grass that is around here. Just gonna let this dry, so it's grass and leaves and whatnot. It's always cool to leave a little bit of white in the paper, although I didn't do much on this part. But uh 
So I wanted a masking fluid for this this part of the mush mushroom that is very light, the top. I think the brightest spots are the sky and this this little light that is coming from the sky actually. Um, but even if you if you lose it a little you can add it in the end so it's not a big deal. If you lose it right now, just gonna have a few more greens to this. I think it's starting to the sky is starting to dry. I really don't like this green. It's Viridian. I, th I think it's Viri Viridian. What's the name of the thing? Viri Viridian green. I really don't like that color. I don't know why. Maybe when it dries it, it looks better, but I really usually don't like that color. I love the other green that's on the set, that is Sap Green. It's a, it's a much brighter and happier green. But with, with this Viridian green, you can always mix it with sap or mix it with brown or yellow and just like this olive green I'm going to apply right now is just Viridian green with a bit of brown. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. I love olive green. <laughs> it's very, very cute. You can do a lot with this set because as I said before, you have like a warm and a cool tone of like the, the primary colors and some secondary. So yeah, that, you have black and white. What else can you what, uh, what else can you wish for? So it's it's a very cool set for that. For its I like its properties and it's cool how you can only when you have only only this when you have only these colors you really have to mix and see what happens when you're mixing that's really cool when you when you're new because then you start to understand what's going on and how you get the um, The different colors by mixing what you have, how, how, it, how it affects the the painting if you have a cool or a, a warm tone. I think that's, that's a good thing. Yeah, I'm not good at waiting in watercolor. That's a <laughs> it's a bad thing for me to wait. I don't really love waiting, and this is just a little sketch, so you get everywhere faster than it dries. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, you have to be careful there, or not? Just just experiment, cause you know, it's just fun. I'm, I am mixing a little bit of whites. Some watercolor purists don't like that, and I respect it. <laughs> but you know, just diluting red, it's not gonna get me where I want it. Well, maybe if I use brown and dilute it a lot, it would look like this. I'll just say I'll, I diluted the white. The white. Oh my god. Now very carefully I am going to... Oh my god, this is... Well, my battery just died on me, but, you know, as I was starting to... I think it, it was some kind of forces telling me. Yeah, I don't believe in that. <laughs> in those things, so just, just so you know, I am joking. Uh, some kind of force saying me don't paint the mushroom yet because things are pretty wet and you're gonna get a messy mushroom. 
Yeah. I think that was that. No, I think that was it. No, I, I just got pissed off for nothing. Because it was really just something good for me. It was good for me. So like here, it's kind of white and I and I brought the red here. All you have to do is just grab it, wash it, clean it. If you want more, grab it. This is like lifting color. Not like it is lifting the color. It's the lifting technique. <laughs> okay, this is a very... Well, I've heard that those white sponges would clean watercolor no matter what. I don't know. I don't know if I should believe that. I don't know if I tried it. If I did, it was a long time ago and I don't remember what happened. But, um, yeah. If you're uh, desperate someday, just give it a try. I want to keep like this, this movement of the mushroom. And I don't think I am capturing that. Also, I wasn't painting to the edge because, you know, <laughs> I didn't want to have wait. Sorry about the shadow there. So this part here is much duller because it's in the dark. So what can we do? Like grab a red and grab a little bit of brown and make it like duller, so like like it's in the shadow. See? You didn't see sh <laughs> Let me just... Oh, I don't do that because I'm kind of almost ripping the paper. I'm, I'm like... Mm. You know? Touching it and touching it and touching it. No. Just manage. So it's looking kind of funky. Oh god! <laughs> See what I'm doing here? What what we shouldn't do? Like I'm just going for details. Just too soon. It's too soon for details. Just wash your brush <laughs> and keep working on the mushroom thingy because there's a part here that I'm losing there's let's just try to get it here like I'm gonna try to lift this green lift not leaf lift if you lift and then you clean it with um with a paper towel not with your finger you clean it with a paper towel not with your finger, and this might be all mushroom. Okay, it's a mess right now. I need to let it try, try to do something else, anywhere else. So this is orange too. It's not just. Let me give me a little bit of orange. It's orange here. It's orange here. Where else is orange? It's kind of orange here. There's a little light here, but it's not that strong, so I'm cleaning my brush. Just letting some light... Just taking off these hard edges and it will take care of the rest, so... Okay, I really want to retouch it, but I won't. I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just going to do the, like this. These branches that go up in the air. They, they don't ah, they don't meet here, they meet somewhere else. I don't care, I'm just gonna pretend these guys on the back. See, pay attention to details. Really should pay attention to details. Yes. Well if you're going for a realistic look at it at least. If you're trying to make a photorealistic um styled and really <laughs> look for that. In my case here is just just really having fun and so it's not 
that big of a problem. So right now you have like this first layer, you can let it dry and go back with some more watercolor or you can start layering with pencils, colored pencils, pastel pencils, whatever because um, the paper is still wet, damp, I think that's how sometimes you see it um, I just can't seem to stop myself I just keep going and going because <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having fun. <laughs> I'm just having fun and I don't want to stop. That's pretty much it. There are these parts in here that are really, really dark. And at this point, you can always dump some color and just kind of wash it away. Like, not wash it away, just make the, the edges like so, so it's very soft and you don't have to... Um, you don't have very hard edges at all. Here I am again on a mushroom. <laughs> just crazy. Just is, It's bothering me that it's not well defined and I just want to go <laughs> and fix that as soon as I can. So it's getting better. We have a little dark, it's not this dark. It's because this brown is very is very reddish. But if you put a little bit of black, oh my god, look at this. This is the brown straight from here. If you put a little bit of black, you have you have this like burnt burnt timber. Because it was burnt sienna. And, uh, and you can have like this burnt umber that is really what you need for the trees it's like dark what I was doing here I was like mixing the burnt uh, sienna and the black on the paper can try to do that but I don't know if it's going to work so just trying to I have to layer, you have to be patient and layer so it, it gives dimension to the, to the things you're painting so that's on the background, it's so unfocused unfocused, un, unfocused here on the um, on the photo that uh... yeah It's so unfocused then you should it should what? That if you if you do a lot of detail there um just it's, it's like a pinkish thing. <laughs> it's so good. Starting to look a little better, but still. Oh, I lost my yellow flower, see? <laughs> it's just lost. Lost, lost, lost. I'm just gonna try and. Of course, I'm gonna have to do it like with colored pencils or something, because it's not gonna. I'm not gonna have yellow on top of. <laughs> with watercolors. Yeah. Gonna need a little more purples. If you do like these random marks, it's, it's cool. It's not that. Although the watercolor dries pretty much lighter, much lighter. Mm, I think that's okay. So now I want to do like more leaves of some kind. Just gonna use a lot of viridian. I'm just gonna put a little bit of um, of sienna, sienna, burnt sienna, just just to have like these different green. Because there's, I'm just trying to like. 
There are some leaves going around this tree. Some vines or something. Although I wanted it to be unfocused. Just because I don't like too much of a color doesn't mean I don't use it also because <laughs> you know it's there <laughs> and it's okay this is a dry a wet and dry technique here we go, we'll try to mix the colors a little bit, trying to do some splashes, it's so fun when you do some splashes and backgrounds and I have the salt here and I wanted to experiment something and I'm not doing that. I wanted to experiment like this. I use this salt, this is black salt. I use this, this salt to um, normal technique like you put the watercolor with normally on paper and while it's still wet you put some salt in it and then um, when it's dry you take it off you take the salt off and once I used it and when I took it off the the salt was kind of black because it had absorbed the, the ink so I was like what if I reuse this salt it's going to be fun if it if it stains black where it's not black at all um, because in another painting in another painting I probably didn't even use salt so I was like huh. so I kept the salt and I never used it <laughs> so I have it in here and now I'm trying to ruin this painting because I I I, I I, I saw that the um, the painting has like this aura around the things from the sky the, this, this purple aura and what I'm doing is I, I'm dropping some sky color and now I'm trying to mesh it up because usually the sky is is darker on top and then when it goes to the horizon it gets lighter um, in this case it's like the the color is like around the things but it's bright because it's really unfocused I don't know how to describe it just to check it out on the I don't know how this, gonna, this is going to look. It probably is going to look like I have a worm in my in my painting. But I don't mind because this is just a sketch, right? Exactly. I'm getting a little anxious to start seeing something coming out of this because this is <laughs> and I don't know thing going on right now. Well, but the mushroom, there's nothing going on right now. So I hope I don't get out of the, I don't get out of ideas of what I could do. Um, I don't know if I keep. layering things as I see them or if I <laughs> I don't know I'm kidding I'm getting a little anxious about the the results it's okay it's okay because we had like a tree here and now it's going into the sky um, I don't know. We have another tree here. I 
like so. I don't mind that it's unfocused. Now let's just grab some green and mix it. Yeah, it's very unfocused, like these trees and everything is very. Oh no! Leave my mushroom alone! Oh my god! I'm sorry about the shadows, I really don't know why. Because I have lights from both sides. Yeah, it's just... It is what it is. See, it's going all over this. Oh my god, am I stupid? Oh god, okay. So this is going to the sky and I just kind of don't care. It's like, um, let's just say it's like uh, it's unfocused. Like these guys are unfocused and like that guy up there is really, this, this part here is really unfocused. There's, there's more greens in here. They are really unfocused. Okay, and then there's this part that reaches here. And so maybe, maybe now I should start. using more concentrated ink so it maybe I should try that smaller brush to I'm just trying to pretend there are leaves there so it just shouldn't be so and maybe it's a good idea if I don't use a wa um, water brush because every time you put it down there is a lot of water going into the paper and since we're not in the first layer anymore uh, it might be good to, to have a little more control and to don't have <laughs> ink so diluted at the same time I like it when it mixes because gets a softer look, you know. I'll just keep going and see how it goes. Just tap that tap <laughs> and uh, take off some of these rigid using a little black to make some accents because some parts here are really dark. And oh, this 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 um, 
dry, uh, dry brush technique because there's not a lot of water. Well, there's always water from the. But uh, I, I basically just put it on the. Um... Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> just put it on the pen and. It's almost like a, a dry brush technique. Although there's always water in these brushes. So. Well, as long as there's water in the brush. <laughs> yes. Yes, but of course. So we'll just keep playing and playing around. Trying to see what I could use. The color I have in the brush at the moment. <laughs> so I'm talking like in pieces. I'm not like. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to understand what I'm doing and I don't. <laughs> it's just very scary. Well, I'm going to mix a light and green. I want a lime green. Green. I keep saying green and I don't know why. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. Mm, yummy. Shut up. Okay, your keys. Oh, I like it. And now you only have... Shut up. I have to put it... Let's try to distribute. Although this, this part of the drawing looks much lighter than this one on the reference photo. Um, just... Try to make uh, make it cohesive, <laughs> and so you can, so your eye can travel, and yeah, don't be stuck in one place. I just it's important to have like this bright green because there are a lot of leaves there or grasses that are. I think I'm gonna be able to do that much better with um with the uh, pencils because this is getting a little oh this is cute making little patches of I hadn't used it yet and it's it's kind of everywhere in the picture so it's good <laughs> I'm glad I figured that out. Oh my god. Oh, it should be lighter here. Lighter. So I can paint this with uh, my pencil afterwards, if I remember what it is. You know. So is the thing. You have to remember where you put stuff. <laughs> That's a generally good rule. A generally good rule, oh my god. Just have to make like I look at it and then I think where is where is absolutely horrible. Where do you really need to change things? This is this this was it, one of the hits. And just go for it and try to have contrast and different forms. That make you look at it. So, if people look at this, it's better than to look at a blob of some kind. And yeah. Oh my god. Oh, the camera is falling. Have you been watching what I'm doing? <laughs> so, I think I'm just gonna. St Stop a little bit because I'm gonna have to pick up my baby now and I'm just gonna have to finish this tomorrow probably. I don't think I'll be able to do this today. <laughs> yeah, I still want to do a little more but 
Yeah, it's getting tight. Schedule. <laughs> Oh, look at, look at it, dry brush technique with a wet brush. <laughs> you know. I didn't like those edges, and now that it's kind of wet, I'm just going to drop a little bit of salt there. Oh, this is the black salt, but it's not that black. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, my battery is also dying, and this is the second one. So I'm just going to drop a little bit of fine salt here, because this is still wet. Okay, where is it still wet? Nowhere else. So, okay. And I'll see you. I'm just gonna put some thin salt in here. Too. Just gonna drop some water. Here and oh my god, I have. Just gonna let it dry and we'll see what it comes up. What comes up so we can continue. <laughs> so it's another day. It's been a few days and this has nothing to do with my photo reference. Which would be fine if I wasn't using um a free for commercial use <laughs> but well I think it's time for us to pick up some I am going to use pastel pencils because I I saw uh, his name is Paul Clark he's an awesome watercolorist uh, that I found on YouTube um, and he's a teacher. I think he started his channel like in 2020 because of the pandemic, so he could just teach through there. And I am glad he did, and I am glad I found his channel because he's, he's really fun and he, he knows a lot well as a teacher. And one thing he did to his paintings is like adding pastel. And I, th I don't think I've ever did that, adding pastel to the, um, to the painting. Well, it usually just uses like a little bit of pastel, like the, to highlight or something, or to, to put some flowers maybe. But I was also thinking of these like watercolor sets of Brinzel, I don't, I have no idea how it's called, but I like these guys, so I'm a little undecided, but I I remember that I, I was talking about using pestles in the beginning, so that's what I am going to use. Um, I just don't know if I should, <laughs> add a, well, I could use pestle pens, um, watercolor pencils, pencils, and then pestle just for the last. Uh, and that's that's what I'm going to do. It's a little bit of a change of plans. But <laughs> well. There you go. It's a very sturdy box. It's a very cool box. It wasn't it wasn't very expensive, also. And I like the pencils, so I'm just gonna bring them over here. Otherwise, I'll be knocking the camera out um, a lot. I think so. What am I going to do to try and salvage this thing? I don't know. I mean, it's not very close to the... I mean... Is that a reflection? Yeah, there's a reflection. So this is really not... <laughs> so I don't care, I don't care. It's just, I'm not trying to copy or even make it realistic. I'm just trying to paint something. And that's very cool that we have all these 
photo references to like you don't have to worry about rights or yeah I don't like how this kind of is <laughs> just add some darks maybe I should keep going with the watercolor and yes I could do that to add layers but it's been like I don't know maybe five days it's been a week <laughs> And I kind of, I am sick of looking at it in the table. And I don't know if you just sometimes lose interest on a piece. It's not that I lost interest per se, per se, per se. I don't know how you say it. Um, but it's, it's like, um, <laughs> it's like it's been a while and then you have to go back and it was inspiring when you chose the picture, but maybe now it's not that much. <laughs> it's like you're just sick of looking at the same picture over and over again. But anyway, what I am trying to do here is like adding some details. And with watercolors, what you can do is like liquefy them. And so you are really using watercolor or just don't and like that you get some texture and on the I, I I got that this was too big I figured that out and now I'm just gonna start making things on my own and really not looking that much at the picture because it really is not like the picture at all I'm just gonna increase shadows and whatnot that are not in the picture so if you are trying to replicate the picture just it's okay as it's okay to don't <laughs> like I am doing now so I don't have a lot of oh my god I don't have a lot of color choice here so this is pretty ba pretty basic this is what I have so but it's okay I'm just gonna try and you, and you could ask me don't you have any other watercolor pencils or sets I do do you want to grab them I don't <laughs> these were right here <laughs> and it's so sad sometimes it's the procrastination it's so hard to be I'll try to be an artist because there's the procrastination and then there's the the whole thing with the materials like trying to get them all together and and in the end if you don't have a a specific place you have to put it away again and then there's the thing that you might you might not have enough privacy to 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 make your heart and that's Oh, I had that when I was in my parents' house. I was always afraid that someone would enter my room and see what I was doing because I used to paint on canvas back then. Just canvas, like I started with oils and then I went everywhere, <laughs> actually. But, um, yeah, uh, I, was, I was really, I was, I was, so concerned that people would enter the room and then people would be like my father my mother or my brother sometimes maybe my cousin um, and I didn't want them to see it and because usually there were <laughs> there wasn't a very good response well first of all I didn't have as much experience as I have now because it's been years right uh, I have my own house for a uh, I left my parents' house for like 20, 10 years or 15 years or something. Why am I adding yellow here? Because there's no... I don't know. And let me just see how the white works here. Oh, it's cool. Oh, it's very visible. Oh, that's great. Wow. Because usually watercolor... <laughs> white watercolor... <laughs> You know, it's not very useful. 
I don't know for me. Um, and oh, this is cool. I love this. It's broken, but I love it. I love it. Well, what I, what was uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah? I've left. I left my my parents' house a long time ago, and so I I didn't. It's not that I'm a masterpiece maker. Peace maker, but um, I have much more experience, and I was I was really I, first of all when there's there's always that ugly stage. Sometimes we can get out of it and have a painting. Sometimes we don't even manage to get out of the ugly stage. So. Um, it's it's very it was very stressful for me like to for someone to get in and just because I wanted to do things I wanted like to be free to do them and I felt like if anyone would enter the room I would feel very you know it's not like I it's not that I wouldn't believe in me. Or what I could do with that painting? Well, there was a time I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know what I could do with a painting, and how, how to savage. Because right now, I, it's not like they, they, they all get really awesome in the end. But at least I have some things that I, I can try that worked before, um, and that you can only gain by experimenting and experimenting and when you're changing mediums like I was always changing mediums <laughs> and I don't regret that I just I just like art it's like people say oh you don't have a style or what is your style I don't have a style I don't think I have a style there's no no such thing as looking at the painting and saying oh you did that no I don't think so um, but I think I've learned a lot by changing mediums because art, the basis, the basics of art, it's the same for any medium. Well, all you have to do is then get used to the medium and see what it does to get the same things, like the value, the value importance, the hues, the the contrast, the that's like spreading the um, the painting like don't have like oh, right here I have a, a bright red just here but like the greens and the yellows try to to make the high um, go through the painting and don't just concentrate one color in one spot it's like also like a reflection sometimes between the sky not in this case much but Sometimes, well, there's a reflection of the sky right here on this guy and here, so it kind of mimics and there's a little bit of green here because it's going, it's not that the sky is green, <laughs> I'm not trying to say that in this, well, this is not my photo, but <laughs> I'm not trying to portray that, but um, I'm trying to say that you might look at the, the sky area, maybe the horizon, and there's a little bit of green. And the painting does, is not realistic, so you can have a green sky if you want. And you can have... and there's that... When you're, when you're starting to, to paint somehow, people just expect you to kind of do it realistically. Realistic painting. And it's just crazy. Because I think realism is so, so hard. It's so hard. I mean, I can do... I mean, I am talking about hyper-realism. But even realism, it's very hard because you really have to understand a lot about color and a lot about um, values and contrast and composition. And I think that uh, a beginner probably doesn't have all those concepts right at once right even if you go to school to art school um, 
I think art school might be important if you want to learn things faster or you might be in a group. I know that I I made, I, I was part of a, a group that I was like it was it, it is a private group that is um, on Facebook. We started like by we got an inv an invitation of um, of uh, an artist, a friend artist that that invited us, and so we participated in, in a thirty contest. It's like an Inktober, but just for us. Like she would give us prompts, and we would do artwork based on that on that prompt, and and then we would um, share our hearts, and sometimes our hearts because. There were, there's always something going on in our lives, right? And so we 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 got some of us got really got a, a really cool friendship from that experiment experience, the thirty days ex, thirty day experience, and we 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 liked it so much. We we kind of. We kind of, I didn't, uh, someone invited me um, to, to be a part of their... They got together in another group, they made a group because they, they thought it was so cool and they, they liked some people and, and they, they made a group. So, and I was invited to that new group. So that was really cool and we, we kept ourselves very... It's like when we, we learn something about art or uh, we think something is cool or we, we tried something new, we kind of share there. Well, it's been... Even for me, I got pregnant and and then it was all about the baby and whatnot and I, I didn't have... and I still don't have much time to go there, but... Um, but yeah, it was a very cool group. I think about them a lot. A lot still, even though I don't go there much, I really do think about them, and they were really helpful. Not just in that, in that, like you could learn faster being in a group. So I, I believe being in a an art in art school, you yeah, you can learn faster, and yeah, probably. St but the techniques, I think they're out. You think you can get the technique, the techniques, um, pretty much everywhere and even for free. And there's always something you can do. There is um, practice yourself, just experiment, because that's really what self self thought is. Is not watching a YouTube video. That for me is not being self taught. That is being thought by someone and it's for free and it's online and you never meet the person but um, <laughs> it's not self when, when people say self thought 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 I, I didn't even well if people ask me I probably say well I've never been to a hard school but I don't say I don't say I'm self thought artist because I read it somewhere in on books or uh, someone told me through the internet um, but a lot of things I also learned by myself but not all and the basics of course I learned from someone else I didn't invent the basics <laughs> so it's really I don't know where I was going with this <laughs> but um, yeah, kind of lost. So I am trying to do, I don't know what, I'm not even looking at the reference photo at this time, by this. <sighs> I don't even know how to speak today. So I'm just trying to make things look like something. Oh, that's great. I hate this this thing and I usually call it flowers and it, they don't bother me but this one it's like a huge blob right here and it's um, 
very green and then the salt came here and just did this gray maybe on camera sometimes it looks better but I don't like it oh I like the mushroom on camera you guys are looking it is very far away so. oh it's cool when when you you kind of you're just going at it doing it and doing it and thinking oh this should go here this should go there because I'm just doing things by my by myself like there you go much better so it's, it's cool I, I just looked at the camera <laughs> I like it on the camera and that 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 happens to me a lot like I'm just concentrated on values and use shifts and whatnot and I just I am bothered by these and then when I look at the camera the the, um, the mushroom popped so much and this purple that I wasn't even looking at it because <laughs> this is right beside so that, that's a good news <laughs> that's good news um, but uh, well I think it's going somewhere it's very strange that this, this is an Arteza sketchbook, it says number one, yeah, <laughs> still on number one. Uh, I bought a package of three, it was on sale or something, and it's a very, very strange, it's a very particular book, and it has like two different textures, like on this side is very rough, and on this side is kind of smooth. It's a watercolor paper, 300, 300 grams, I think, yeah, 140 pounds, and it's like almost all the things I did on this book, I thought like, oh, it's not gonna go well, and then it, and then they do, it's, it's just weird, it's like it's cursed, but in a good way. <laughs> Uh, although I'm, I'm still not loving this. Well, not in person at least. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. But just for you to see how much you can add after first layer or two of watercolor. Uh, you can add all details. It just can mix them. Oh, it's so good. Because you can really make like very detailed and intricate and the more detail you put in a in a thing the more it's going to be a focus a focal point it's going to look um, more realistic more detailed more you know and the less you can you you it it will look unfocused and it it won't be the center of attention uh, that and so probably I shouldn't be doing this because it's going to I don't know now it <laughs> looks like <laughs> just standing up to see it on camera it looks like <laughs> some sort of I don't know a monster <gasps> oh I could make a monster. Oh, I like the mushroom from here. <laughs> from here. Uh, this looks like myrtles. Uh, well, how do you say? Ah, blueberries. You say blueberries. <laughs> myrtles. <laughs> uh, look at this red. It's just beautiful. I like the colors. Mm -hmm. Very vibrant. I should put red somewhere else, maybe. I could just make ink of like some flowers in the back really like okay it's not going to disturb the piece and we're having some red somewhere else so yeah I could travel Yeah, this looks like a little monster. Should I make it a little monster? I don't even know how. This looks like 
and here another here the f oh we'll get the high another high in the nose <laughs> and this could be another one just facing that way and getting some other light how <laughs> this is cool now I like it like that <laughs> with these little monsters that are not monsters or whatever okay let's just try I think I'm getting ready to be done I don't know about that part there oh, I think so yeah I like it kind of like it <laughs> kind of like it let's just try these these guys and then just add some detail of course I'm going to try the white to see the light let's see Oh, I was going to say they don't work, <laughs> but then they did a little, but then, I don't know, let's just try it right here. Yeah, I don't see shit. Oh, sorry. Let me just try it here. Kind of, kind of a little, oh, but I, they don't work as I thought. Come on. The Carbotel, they're not bad pastel pencils so they should oh there you are what just happened I think it's the the tooth of the paper that is absolutely dead in some pieces in some places pieces oh my god okay hey let's try a green because I like this highlight I think this is from the paper what did I do here I don't remember Sad. It's just sad. Oh, look at it. See? No. <laughs> okay. Let me just try. Oh, yeah. I don't want to use a lot of pestle in here because when you when because it smudges. Well. Oh. <gasps> oh my God. What do you mean? Let's just try a purple. We don't have a purple. Okay, then let's just try some dark brown for the trees. It doesn't smudge. If you add watercolor first, that, that cannot be. Wow. Oh, it smudges, but just a little. What kind of sorcery is this? <laughs> oh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, it smudges a little. But not that much. This is so weird. I mean, if you know pastel, if you <laughs> it almost doesn't smudge. That's just weird. When people ask, when if people ask me, um, how much time? I spent on this piece, I'm going to say five days, seven, it was a week actually, <laughs> seven days, see it was kind of quick and it's pretty loose around here, it's cool and then you have some some other places where it's it's kind of gets a little tighter, tied up and it's cool it's so cool oh it smudges a bit okay i don't know what happened here i can do anything too much water but because now i can with this green i don't know it's just strange to me let me just try this one see so, some there are places where it looks like it's doing nothing it's except ripping the paper <laughs> Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that just coming out of the mist. Did you see that coming? Oh my god. This is so cute. So cool. So cute. Oh, I like that tree like that. I was gonna add another one here. It's another pair of monsters. Great. I like it. Oh, I like it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I just won't touch it anymore so I don't ruin it. <laughs> but I will. 
Ooh, I don't like this color. This is very dark. Very red. And I have a lot of red already. Oh, I like it. I like everything, apparently. No, I don't like everything. Can I see? It almost doesn't smudge and it gets like this grainy look. That's just strange to me. So... Oh, I need to sign it. I need to sign it. Shall I sign it in black? No. I'll sign it in this color. So, I hope you enjoyed this. This was fun. <laughs> and, well, this was a mixed media. I, I kind of, I, I think I, I told you, uh, oh, you know what I could do <laughs> to make this look like, because um, I have a droplet here, uh, I have a droplet, I have like a real, a real drop from watercolor, a splash, and I could make it li look like droplets, except I, I didn't, oh, it's kind of mystic, I like it. Can we highlight these guys a little bit? I think that's... I mean, just come on. Pencils, what the hell is going on? I don't know, it's like they have this... Because if... Oh, see? Here, it works so well. And here, I cannot put... It's the tooth of the paper. That can only be it. I don't understand it any other way. Okay, so, must be it. Ooh, now it's really disgusting. <laughs> a fungus in a fungus. That's fantastic. Oh, God. See, in here I cannot do anything, almost, it's like done, as in here, I can't do anything if I go here like, <laughs> get, up, get out, okay, let's try the watercolor pencil, no, this would be fun, if it would give me more white than, <laughs> no, but it doesn't. So we can use, I think I need to make them lighter. And I wanted to make, oh, there's a purple here. Why did I say I didn't? Isn't this a purple? They don't have names, right? Just, I think it is. I think, oh my God. We have three blues. That's just weird to me. I cannot have any, Thing here. Yeah, it's gone. Gone, gone without a trace. Do you know what that is? It's slip knot. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard that. Who's gonna pick up my post up I'm back and I bought this. This goddess. I'm gonna try the Chinese, the Durin drawing, Chinese white 7, 7200. This is a wonderful white, but, uh, yeah, it also needs tooth. See, if you put it here, it's almost like the, um, the Carbotello one. And this is not pastel, this is... I have two. One that is finer than the other, it's <laughs> bad, I think. And sometimes it just <laughs> explodes. So, yeah. Oh, we have a little tiny white. And this, I bought this new one. <laughs> I didn't buy a old one. But this is, it has, uh, it looked really, really thin. Thick, but then it's not that thick, so I was happy about it. But uh, they have to be prepped. 
Oh no, we have an eyelid. You can always use gouache or even acrylic. Oh, look at it. It's starting to glow. It's so cute when you're like... I can do these like... Spots of light. It's so cute. I love doing highlights, but of course you get lost in the Oh, I changed the monster, no! He can make his, light, his eyes pop. Where's the other eye? Because I, I don't see it. Oh my god! <laughs> so scary. The other guy is right there. Oh my god. See, this is like the white of the paper. I don't know if that was the white of the paper. Oh my god. Just the... the the light, it's insane. It just gives the piece another dimension. It's just crazy. I love it. <laughs> okay, let's just put a little highlight here. It's not supposed to be white, but I want it to be shiny and stuff. Just like this. Oh my god, it's so pretty. See, it's not that thick, the, the pen. But you can do... Oh. Sometimes these mushrooms have, have like this. Oh, I think it's cute. So I, I'll probably keep ruining it. So <laughs> keep going at it until I ruin. Like make a little spiral of some kind of fumes or magic that's going on. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I'm not very mystical. I'm not that kind of person um, but uh, yeah I like this piece <laughs> it's kind of it has a mystical vibe and I like it so this is becoming too long and I'm just going to say goodbye now if you like this video please give me the thumbs up um, if you haven't please subscribe to the channel and, so, and, and hit that little notification bell so you get notified whenever I I post more videos. I don't know when. I'm trying to make it like once a week, but sometimes, you know, it's kind of hard to do everything. And so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope we give it a try. If you do, just post it on Instagram and tag me. Um, and uh, so I can see what you came up with. So uh, I'll leave the link of the photo in the description. I'm just gonna... because it looks better from above. But I'm just gonna do like a little... and tag me on Facebook so I can... I can see what you came up with. I would really like to see that. So... till next time! Make some hearts, be safe, and bye-bye.